Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and I ran across something pretty interesting over on the r slash PC gaming subreddit and that is in regards to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone. Of course, Warzone is a free-to-play experience. However, if you want the entirety of Modern Warfare and Warzone on your PC... What is that download going to be like? Oh god, it's a whopping 209 gigabytes. Oh boy, oh boy. Now for a long time, I have been saying that one terabyte of storage space probably isn't going to be enough for the majority of PC gamers out there just because game file sizes are increasing at an exponential rate. Now, one terabyte is fine if you're okay with deleting, re-downloading, and reinstalling games and things of that nature. However, for the majority of people that do have a relatively healthy Steam environment and uh, Steam library, I should say, and a game library, which those game libraries, man, oh man, do they build up very quickly. I mean, I talked to some of you guys and you guys are literally just collecting all the free games from like EGS, Steam, and things like that. And you're talking about having north of 100 games. Yeah, those libraries pick up quickly. Couple that with a Steam sale like what is going on right now. And you're talking about a very, very packed library of games. And if you want to have the majority of them installed or even, you know, 30 to 40 percent of those games installed you are looking at a significant amount of storage space and what's interesting and i beg this question for the future is what does this mean going forward? This is one Call of Duty game that was released in 2019. A new generation of games with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are upon us, and that means I would imagine that the games are going to be bigger in file size. I've heard things that maybe they're going to be able to compress these games a little bit more, and the file sizes might actually get a little bit reduced. I find that a little bit hard to believe, and it doesn't just stop with Modern Warfare and Warzone. Now, yes, 209 gigabytes, I think, takes the cake for what is, I think, the biggest PC title. I mean, maybe there's something else. There's a lot of games on PC, and I know a lot of them are pretty robust. Like, I don't know how expensive or how taxing on a hard drive a game like Star Citizen is going to be, I would imagine. Pretty, pretty up there. However, Modern Warfare and Warzone is one of the biggest ones I've seen. But even outside of that, look at a game like Gears 5. You're talking well around 100 gigabytes, maybe even a little bit over 100 gigabytes. Go back to Gears 4. That was a significant install as well. And you're talking about these applications. Again, it's not about having a gigantic library anymore. Just about everyone it's going to be applicable to if you have a service like Game Pass, which if you're on PC, you probably should have Game Pass PC just because it's such an insane deal. I mean, it's just stupid how insane that deal is. But look at all of those games that are available. Forza Horizon 4 is a big install. A game like Outer Worlds is going to be a significant install. Crackdown 3, Gears 5. What about this coming fall when you've got games like Halo Infinite coming out? MCC, I believe, is a decently sized install. And then you're talking about potential open world RPGs like Fable 4 and all of these games that are coming. That is a singular $5 a month subscription service and suddenly that one terabyte hard drive is not looking that good anymore. That's why I would highly, highly recommend you that if you are building a new PC, really be of the mindset that one terabyte might not be enough. I know at a surface level, one terabyte sounds like a lot, and for a long time, man, going back to when I built my PC in like 2012, 2011, one terabyte, I was like, man, I'm never filling this thing up, I'm good forever, and back in the day when Deus Ex Human Revolution was a 7.9 gigabyte install, yeah, it was okay, but think about that for a second, in just nine, eight to nine years, which isn't a long time in the grand scheme of things, we went from an 8 gigabyte install in Deus Ex Human Revolution to now having games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone being 209 gigabyte. And in actuality, let me pull up Deus Ex Human Revolution because this was one of the first games that I played on PC uh, all the way through. Actually, still have it installed. I didn't even realize I still had it installed. Local files. Okay, I gave it a little bit of, a, a, you know, a little bit less than what it is or a little bit, yeah, a little bit less than what it is. It was eight and a half gigabytes. However, I believe I have the DLC installed as well. So maybe it was actually 7.9 gigabytes. You guys get the idea. Even going from eight or nine gigabytes to 209 gigabytes. I mean, what the hell is going on now? Deus Ex may not be relevant to all of the other games that came out back in 2011, 2012. I don't remember how big COD 4 is, but actually we have a thing called Steam and we can just pull that up. All right, let's look up Call of Duty 4. How big was Call of Duty 4? 
Uh, let's actually look at Modern Warfare 2 since it's a little bit more relevant. Modern Warfare 2 was a solid, okay, I've got to actually install the game because I don't have it installed right now, a solid 11.33 gigabytes, okay, and what was COD 4? COD 4 was 8.36 gigabytes, so in just, you know, 8 to 9, 10 years, you're talking about literally going up 20 times in file sizes, I mean, if this rate still continues, let's not talk about games in 10 years being, you know, 4 terabytes, let's hope that doesn't happen, or 2 terabytes or whatever, but that's literally what, what we're looking at with Modern Warfare and Warzone. Maybe this is a special case where this game is just not compressed at all and the file size is just ridiculous. But again, you look across the board, you look at games like Gears 4, you look at games like Gears 5, those are significant installs. And if at this rate, where are we going to be in five to six years? Are we going to need, you know, eight terabyte hard drives going around for everyone? I'm sure storage space is going to get cheaper and cheaper. But with the move to SSDs, are we going to need eight terabyte SSDs? Is that going to be the norm in 2026? That may very well be the case, but I thought it was a funny thing to look at. But a realistic thing when you do talk about building a PC one terabyte, definitely not the route to go anymore, especially if you're the kind of person that does want to have a significant amount of games installed. And don't even forget... That's just games, man. Computers, you're not looking to just install games exclusively. At least I don't think most people are. What if you want to record some videos? What if you want to record some gameplay? What if you want to do XYZ, record, download some movies or whatever you want to do with that? One terabyte is just nothing these days. I would even argue that two terabyte is nothing. I was talking one terabyte not being a lot when we were maxing out at 50 gigabytes a game. Now you're talking about 200 gigabytes. Honestly, for a lot of people, I think three terabytes of storage space is going to be more of a norm. And that's talking three terabytes of a mechanical hard drive. Three terabyte SSD is going to run you back a little bit. But hey, that might be something a lot of people are going to start looking at. Nevertheless, that's going to conclude this video. Just wanted to bring this guys to your, just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. Found it a little bit funny, but also, a little bit daunting as far as hard drive requirements going into the future. That's going to wrap up this one. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off with all of your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.